Tens of thousands of people are expected to make their way to Waterfront Park. It's safe to say the 17th annual Four Castle Festival's lineup of artists this year isn't disappointing one fan. The lineup is stacked. I'm super stoked for all the artists. I can't wait to see the killers and just be in the huge crowd singing um, Miss, uh, Mr. Brightside. Like I, I've seen it so many videos of it and I just want to have my own experience with it. But while standing up for hours in the scorching heat throughout the day, hydration is many of these concert goers first priority. Got water there, we've got water here, I've got water in a pack and we plan on hydrating a lot today. And we have sunscreen. <laughs> water, there's thankfully plenty of shade. Uh, so just those two try to take it easy. That shade stretches a little bit farther this year with Fruit of the Loom introducing its shade structure tent, a sign of relief for many who know the Kentucky summer. I'm excited for it. I don't, they didn't have that last year, so I'm excited to check it out. What's up? After beating the heat, you can take a look at the unique art being painted by professional artists throughout the park or see what area shops or bourbon appeals to you. Our inspiration behind it when we started producing the event is to really shine a spotlight on how quirky, amazing, and wonderful Louisville is. Whether it's art, food, or the concert, there's no doubt the thousands expected to attend will have no shortage of options. Now, no number yet given from the organizers on how many tickets were sold, but I'm told for every ticket sold, $1 will be donated to the Four Castle Foundation, which goes towards protecting the world's most diverse and threatened natural land so far. It's raised more than $500,000. Now, tickets are still being sold here. They're still online. If you want more information, we'll have all of that on our website, WLKY.com. For now, reporting live at the waterfront, Shaquille Lord, WLKY News.